I am working on a 17 and a half horse Scott's mower. It's made by John Deere. And I am burning up mower belts big time. Found out what the reason is. This pulley, this is the idler or what I, the, the tension pulley. I replaced that. This is just a, a, a stationary pulley and it sits here and feeds the belt around here up to the um, drive um, pulley on the bottom of the engine. So it just, this, this pull, this uh, belt just comes around here and goes straight up to the front of the tractor. Well, over the years, this has, I didn't realize it, but this has kicked down. This bolt has bent, well, I can't get to do it now, and that's good, I guess. I bent it back some. In other words, this, this pulley, instead of sitting like this, was sitting like this. So this, this bolt, it's loose and it shouldn't be. It's welded onto the bottom. Uh, underneath is welded. But since this is welded to the frame, and I don't particularly want to, or to the deck, and I don't really want to cut it off, what I'm going to do, straighten it up, make sure it's vertical, because it looks like to me that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way this is coming off. That's a, a little doodad that holds the belt on there, like that. And uh, as it sits on there, uh, then this keeps the belt from from slipping off um, so I need to instead of having this you see how it's wiggling and it was way up this way it was it was like like this instead of up like this so this belt this uh, pulley was kicked way back like that way forward so to fix it what I'm gonna do I got a big thick washer I'm gonna put it down on that straighten this up then I'm gonna weld this is metal this little bottom part of this all oh, that's metal so I'm gonna weld it all around there and then I'm gonna tack it or weld it to this uh, frame piece or, or uh, deck piece whatever this is I've, I've um, wire breasted it works pretty smooth good weldable surface I'm gonna weld this to that and hopefully that will keep this from rocking otherwise it's gonna break off and what it was doing like I say burning my belts up anyway I think this will fix it uh, I haven't seen any, uh, I, I don't remember when I got it, I bought it used, but I'm pretty sure that this, this pulley is not sitting in here like this. It's sitting flat like these other pulleys. So it was sitting way up and it just over the years, uh, this, this weld, I can feel underneath, feel the weld is broke, that bolt um, stud, I guess that is, is broke off, almost broke off on the back. I'd, I'd have to cut it off to weld it because I can't even hardly get my fingers in there, much less a welder. So instead of doing that, I'll put this on there. I have the clearance. When the pulley goes down on it, it's not touching this washer, so I've got the clearance. The pulley bottoms out at the, let's see, you can see there's a step, step, and then a step, and then up. Well, the pulley, pulley bottoms out on that step, so I've got, you know, I don't, I'm not worried about the clearance there. The pulley's not gonna go all the way down there anyway, so I'm good there. Uh, I'm gonna tack it before I really weld it, <laughs> before I really weld it hard and good. But uh, I think it's going to do it for me. So I've got my little Hobart 140 over here. And uh, we're going to weld that dude up. I really like that Hobart. I'll put a link to it below the video. And look at the reviews on that thing. People that have used Millers and Lincolns all their life that are really good welders, which I am not, uh, says this is a great, great welder. I'm, I'm happy with it. Not that I'm a good welder. And I'm fairly new to wire welding. But I love this thing. zoom in too close because I don't want you to see my crappy welding but basically I just made a another base for that that that, that base was was bent the hole was uh, compromised the bolt or stud was rocking in the hole because it was about to come uh, about for, for the weld to completely break 
and before it did so I came in here and did this and um, that dude sits right down on top of it like it's supposed to I believe we're gonna be in business now I believe we're gonna be in business that's good maybe I won't be burning up so dang many belts I mean probably two hours of mowing time and I was burning up a belt I last time I'd last or not quite that quite often but you can see that belt is pretty much chewed up that belt is about a month old I was really that thing kicked to the side was really chewing that belt up and making it hot I pick uh, touched that belt after I got through mowing the other day man it was scorching hot so uh, I've got a new hub for it this one is not bad uh, it's pretty free I think it's okay the grinding you hear is that break on it I don't have can't do two hands on it but anyway it's uh it's pretty free it's not as free as the new one that's a new one over there new uh, spindle rather um, so I, I could put a new spindle on it but I think I'll wait and see how this goes looks pretty good to me I think I like what I did well I just mowed about a quarter of an acre about a half an acre with it and it ran like a dream it's quiet as quiet as I remember it being when I bought it and I didn't buy it new, but it was in very good shape when I bought it. Uh, I didn't put the, I need to put that shield on this, on this sprocket here. It's got a little rubber, or a plastic shield, but uh, it really just traps, it traps a lot of um, clippings and stuff that I can't get to unless I take the shield off. So I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it. I may just uh, leave it off and that way I can blow out from under it and everything, keep it a little cleaner. The, uh, I felt of the, as soon as I quit mowing, I felt of the uh, belt and it was just very, you know, just warm, just mildly warm, not scalding hot at all. So that was my problem. And um, I don't know whether it is a, uh, it is a flaw that, 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 um, it's that pulley there that I was talking about. And it's, it's laying flat now. It was kicking forward, as I told you. So that, uh, hopefully that fix, hopefully, hopefully my weld will hold. It works great now, I'm assuming, assuming my weld is worth a darn. All right, just thought I'd show you that in case you're having trouble with yours. Uh, if you've got a Scots or a Deere, these are, these are built like, uh, if I understand right, built like the John Deere. So it could be, a, could be something that you've run into also if you have a Deere. Anyway, good fix. Didn't take long. Just took a little thinking. All right, we're gone.